So, what's up, really? Welcome back to YouTube channel. This is TG Sign here, and today's in this video, I am going to talk about MHL. So, as this link says that many people use this MHL tool. Actually, this small device, many people don't know the name of its name is MHL, it's mobile high definition link. As you can see, this small device here. Just connect to the image, uh, HDMI and you use a micro B USB power and then you just use your phone to share your phone's display to your PC laptop and then you just start the stream. So today I'm going to talk all about it. So if you're going to like this video, hit the like button. I'm going to say more than that. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. So let's get started with this today's video. So guys, as you want to know about the MHL, first of all, you need to have a phone which supports MHL. So this is my Redmi Note 7 Pro, which does not support MHL. Poco F1 doesn't support MHL, and my device does not support MHL. So how do you use it? So if you, if it supports MHL, nothing you should do. You just connect it, plug in, and start the use. That's what you should. This MHL is all about. So but if your phone doesn't support MHL, how do you have a fixed cable transfer to your laptop? And you don't have money to buy that MHL tool which comes around 800, 1000 rupees, 1400. You don't need to buy that even. You just need to have your USB cable which can either be C type or micro USB type or anything as such. And a device. Obviously it's not supporting MHL. So today I'm going to do it. So in order to do it, I am going to share you a file. As you can see this file here. Uh, it's means proper visual here. This file, its name is Vysoft Pro. So it's just a crack version of it. So I'm going to install it and do it from the scratch. And this is my phone here. As you can see, I unlock it here. Sorry. Where's it? Okay. I unlock my phone here. So it's completely nothing done here. It's completely fully clean. Nothing is done here. So I'll just go to the settings of my phone. As you can see, settings of my phone. And then I will just do all those things. So first of all, let me show you how do you do it. So first thing you should install this application. So you can install in two ways. If you want the original application, just go to the Google Chrome and just type it VYSOR and you just get it for Chrome. Just go and download it. It's just an extension. You just need to click here and just click on add to Chrome. This will have an extension. Just go and install it and that's such. You are done with it. But we like the ultimate version of it, right guys? So I'm gonna give the ultimate version. So I will just close it, everything. Yeah, nothing is running in the background. Okay, fine. So how to do it? First, I install it. So this zip file I will give you in the link in the description below. Just go and download it and just install it. So I'm just installing it. There you go. I'm just installing it. Uh, it's loading. Installing the version. Come on. Okay, it's installing. It's done. It's asking me the permission. I just giving the access. That's it. All done. So fix is nothing. But uh, I think what should do? We should. Okay, we should copy it and paste it there. Okay, fine. We'll copy and paste it. Just go to the fix folder. Control C copied. Okay, it's copied. Okay, this is update. So I'll just give the update version order issue for it. Uh, just go here, open file location. Okay, where do you wait? Am I doing some mistake? Uh, go to the instruction tool. Uh, okay, run VSCode and install it. Uh, close Visor uh, if it's running. Okay, close Visor if it's running. Close, close, close. Where is it? It's running here. It's close. It's running in background. No, it's not running. Okay, just close Visor, copy this idle and fix folder and put it in. Okay. Some location it is saying me. So I have it, it, it default into C drive. You should know in mind. Okay, so go to this this PC C drive user username. So C drive users username is cyan. Then it goes to app data. So where's the app data over here? Somewhere here. Okay, so app data won't be visible if you're using a your laptop for many days. So you should go to view, go to hidden items here, and that's all you'll get the app data here. As you can see, click on app data roaming. Visor, okay, let's go down. Yeah, Visor, yeah. Visor is, it's Visor is here. Then CRX. Uh, then which one is saying? It's uh, saying wait, FM. So which is the last one? FM. So this is the FM last one. FM. And this is the application here. Okay. So what is saying? It's just okay. application uh, unpacked. Okay. Inside this, I must paste it. It seems. Okay. And replace the existing file. So Control V replace this file. That's it. Done. Enjoy. Yes, I've done it, and now I'm going to enjoy it. So as done, nothing is running in background. Here I go and run it. So, uh, no device found. I have to connect my phone to the to this device using my USB cable. So I just connect my cable here. My cable is here. I just plug into my laptop. 
and this is the cable now i'm going to do it it's not going to be as simple as you think i if i open my phone i just connect it it's not going to work as such it's not going to work remember it's not going to work so how to make it work it'll ask you this thing transfer and all it won't work so how do you need to work it so it goes like this first click on this three uh, three lines here i'll just do this uh, screen share here so that okay leave. uh what you should do okay wait, i'll do the screen share so that you guys can understand this thing update okay. Uh, okay, I'll just do the projection of my screen here. Connect to your wireless display. I'll just cast my screen over my uh, laptop so that you guys can understand how to do it. Okay, come fast. Make sure. Come on, go inside. What? Project. The secondary display. Project into this PC. Turn it off. Okay. Uh, it'll just give me the name of the device. Uh, you can see here. This is a normal thing, but it will be wireless. It's not depending upon where and all. Okay. Uh, always on a secure network. Yeah. So I get my name here. I just click it here. There's a request on my laptop. Uh, I just give it always. Okay. Yeah, allow once. Okay. So this is my Redmi Note 7 Pro being cast on the screen, as you can see. So I can just show you guys how to do it. Perfectly. Uh, sorry guys, it was taking some time to connect, so I was just worried a bit. So now it is all set. Uh, I'll just connect my screen to show it to you guys. So here we go to cast. I just click over my cast button on my on my phone. Just casting as a normal one, wireless casting. So this is not going to do anything. I'm just going to show the wired one. So just casting so you guys can see it properly. Uh, so here's my phone screen. So I just bottom down click on settings. Uh, I think it's a little bit laggy a bit. It will be uh, not an issue with it. Okay, so what I do is here, I'll go to uh, about phone. After going to about phone, I'll just click on this uh, MI UI. No, okay, all specs. Go to all specs as I'm using MI phone. Otherwise, you just need to go to your phone and then you need to go to uh, uh, sorry, bandwidth version. Not uh, okay, wait, MI UI version, I hope. Yep. Just that keep clicking on MIA version and your developer's mode will be on. So after that, you just need to go back, scroll down, go to additional settings. Well, be noted, I have not gotten my phone to anything right now. Go to developer's option. If you go there, if you come bottom of your screen, you have this USB debugging option. Just enable it. Allow. That's it. Your uh, phone will uh, get a uh, debugging permission instead of via USB. Then one more option will be there. Debug, uh, debugging it using the uh, security suffix it is nothing else so uh, usb device just click on next and one more thing important warning it is the semi device only give it not an issue just click on next and accept it finally allow it uh, three two one and go so here you go i just allow it here and uh, now this is what you need to do here and that's it you're all set i'm not cutting anything right now it's still free over here you can see it's still free i'm not cutting anything right now it's just a normal casting as you can see just a normal casting okay so now i'll just disconnect this and i will show you manually how to do it so let's go yeah so this is the application i'll just open it here uh come on use it okay so now i'll connect my device using this you can see clearly guys this is my phone just connecting it here connected as soon as I connect, it just shows my number over here and I click on view. Okay. It just asks me permission here. I'll just click on okay. Uh, that's it. It'll just start it as you can see detected. Now if I click on view, you can see it's connecting my device, installing APK. There's one more pop-up coming up here right here. Just click. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. I just clicked deny. Sorry, sorry. I just clicked deny. I'll click on view again. Okay. Now, not an issue. If you click deny also, just click it here. Option comes. Just click on install. Just click on install. That's it. Your uh, APK will start installing. You can just swipe and see there's no APK here and suddenly one APK will come here. Uh, I think you guys would be able to see. There's no APK here. You need to take some time off for your phone for installing. It will take some time and then install the APK. Connecting. Yes, the APK is installed. As you can see, this APK wasn't there. And it's installed now. As you can see, it is completely wired. It's completely wired. Completely wired. Okay, guys, completely wired. So that's it guys, your device will be connected perfectly with it and this you can see, it's a completely wired connection, not an issue and this application was nearly involved. 
now you can even set what resolution you want just go here uh okay guys click on settings over here and just select how what resolution you want it's completely uh, okay what pro user what i just activated the pro version what's the problem okay just go here click on wait uh, just a while guys uh i think there's some problem i just check it off what's the thing just go to same location okay oh wait how it was i wanted to list it okay uh, user cyan app data roaming the same location nothing else i'm just going there alone uh go to that folder wait no where it was it's so good wait uh, wait, uh it's in the subscription okay so where it is app data roaming username okay this one select first one this one just copy the folder and paste it here just copy and paste it here replace it that's it done that time it should not be running in background is it running is it running no it's not running it's not running why is it not is getting me the ultimate version okay let's check it now it should be available by now no it's still not available uh so not an issue guys i will give you the ultimate link of it a uh, lot of issue for it i'll just give you the original link so you can see here it's high quality 8 mbps it will be slow so give it to 6 mbps and then you can use the anything i'm having nvidia graphic card so i'll use the hardware for doing it if you don't have a graphic card just go to software and do it if you have a low end laptop or pc and then use a the resolution gain for it how much percent you want to gain the resolution and dim when while connected dim the display so Actually, it's. I'll just say how it is. So if I just view my phone screen here, I unlock my phone screen. So if I just unlock it and see, I can completely control my phone from the PC. You can see, and my cursor is here. I'm just dragging it here and there. As you can see, there's not even a bit lag. There is not even a bit lag. Yes, guys, there's not even a bit lag in it. You can understand properly, guys. There's not even a bit lag. As you can see. completely flawlessly okay up to down drag settings opening yes it's completely working now not an issue guys i will give you the uh, pro version new link for it not an issue for it but you can you can use that for doing it so i hope you like my video if you like the video please hit the like button if you hate the video hit the dislike button and if you're new to my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon get the, get the notification new videos coming up on to my channel this is tsan signing out from here thank you guys